Hey everybody, today I'm going to show you how to make some almond and butter Christmas cookies. <laughs> oh yeah baby, what you see there is a half a cup of almonds. I chop them up with my knife a little bit and then I put them in my skillet and I heat them until I start smelling the aroma of them, you know what I'm saying? Then I go to my little food processor. If you don't have one, you can chop them up all the way. Then I pulse it a couple times. And then I run it for about 30 seconds to get just dusty almonds. You know what I'm saying? Okay, and then we'll set that aside. And then we're gonna put two sticks or one cup of room temperature butter in the stand mixer. And we're gonna mix it until it turns into a butter cream. And then we're gonna add one cup of confectioner sugar. And we're gonna keep it turning until it starts balling up on you. Kinda of like that right there. And then I want you to add two cups of all-purpose flour and your almonds, okay? Keep spinning until it looks like that. And then raise your stand mixer up and get the wire whisk out. And there's what it's supposed to look like, just like that right there, where it'll easily make a ball. Okay, now, what we want to do is we want to get us out a sheet pan with some parchment paper on it, or you can use a silicone mat, and I want you to make a bunch of little balls about, a, about like that, about a quarter inch. Some of mine are different sizes. Then I want you to take it to a 350 degree oven. Mine took 17 minutes. At 17 minutes, you look for that brown around the edges, and they're done. So all you do then is just sprinkle a little confectioner sugar on top. And I sprinkled a few sprinkles on top of mine to make them look Christmassy. And they are really, really delicious. Perfect snack for the kids. Just easy to make. Well, hey, y'all. Hope you enjoy my cookie recipe. They're delicious. Click like, subscribe, all that good stuff if you would. Tell your friends. <laughs> and y'all have a really good day. Bye.